Maximo version 7, spare parts management, direct issue functionality. This presentation will provide you with an overall understanding of the direct issue functionality within Maximo. You have the option at the work order planning level of reserving a spare part from the storeroom or directly buying the spare part for that specific work order. This is very similar to just-in-time ordering for spare parts for maintenance. Our scenario for this presentation. You are planning some extensive maintenance to be performed during the annual fall outage at your plant. The actual work will not be performed for a few months yet, but you want to make sure that you will have all required parts on hand when the plant is shut down to maximize the maintenance being performed. Plant policy is to only schedule work from the approved work order backlog. All work orders that are approved must have all required parts on hand. Any work orders without all required spare parts are kept in the wedding and materials backlog and are not scheduled. Another plant policy is to only order spare parts as they are needed to minimize the inventory cost. Those spare parts maintained in inventory are for emergency use only. They are critical spare parts. The first work order to be planned requires a transmission filter replacement. You will utilize the direct issue functionality for this. My start center has been divided into three different work order backlogs using result set. The first backlog is my approved backlog. These are all work orders that have been planned, parts ordered, all parts verified to be on hand and available, and these are ready to be scheduled. My next backlog is my waiting and materials backlog. These are work orders that have been planned out, parts ordered, but parts have not yet been verified to be on hand. And my last backlog is my waiting on approval backlog. These are new work orders that have come in and have not yet been planned. I have a work order here, number 1180 for my outage. We will work on that next. Click the work order hyperlink to begin the planning process for the work order. Click the work order plans tab. Click the New Row button on the Material sub-tab. Click the Item Detail menu button. Click the Select Value option. Filter for and select the correct item number. Check the Direct Issue checkbox. You can also enter the unit cost, vendor, and required date. Then click the Save icon. You must now approve the work order. Click the Approve Work Order icon. Click OK to complete the status change to approved. Notice, the work order status is now WMATL or Waiting on Material. Even though you clicked on Approved, this is due to the maximal logic that knows this spare part is being ordered. The work order now automatically moves from the Waiting Approval Backlog to the Waiting on Materials Backlog. Note, the planning process for this work order is now complete and it has moved to the waiting on materials backlog. The work order will remain in the waiting materials backlog until all planned spare parts are received. The next few slides will show how the overall process is performed. This entails additional applications and functions within Maximo to include inventory management, procurement, and receiving. The next step in the process is to run the reorder direct issue items and services from the inventory application. This can be done automatically via a cron task or manually run at the storeroom level. The total lead time entered for the reorder process is important as the required date on the work order material sub tab for the direct issue item must fall within this time frame. We will preview the reorder first by clicking the preview button. The direct issue item transmission filter is listed as part of the reorder of direct issue items and services. Click the run reorder button. Depending on the number of items being ordered, this can take a few minutes. In this example, the reorder process created three purchase requisitions. The PR numbers are 1016 through 1018. Going back to our work order material sub tab, we will check on the item. Click the item detail menu button. Click View Item Availability option. The View Item Availability dialog box, Purchasing tab, shows there is now a purchase requisition, number 1017, and the waiting on approval status for these items. Later, the View Item Availability dialog box, Purchasing tab, 
shows there is now a PO 1078 in the waiting on approval status for this item. Once the purchase rec is converted to a purchase order, it is closed and no longer appears in the dialog box. Later, the View Item Availability dialog box Purchasing tab shows a purchase order has been processed and approved, but the parts have not yet been received. When the parts are shipped to the plant, they are received in the receiving application. The Charge To and Receipt Details section lists the work order number and requested by name so the receiving personnel know who the part is for and what specific work order number it is for. The work order now automatically moves from the waiting materials backlog to the approved backlog and is ready to be scheduled. Once the direct issue items are received in the receiving application, the work order status is automatically changed from waiting materials to approved. We will now check the direct issue items view item availability from the work order plans tab, material sub tab. The purchasing sub tab now indicates the direct issue PO has a quantity received. The work order actuals tab, material sub tab, indicates the item ordered via direct issue is automatically issued to the work order when they are received. Once the direct issue items are received, the costs are automatically posted to the work order view costs dialog box. This concludes this presentation. Please visit us at www.projecttech.com and see some of our other training videos. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.